Wow! I don't believe it. I, uh... No, it's not a gold coin, but it's a shield nickel. Check that out. Got the AT Pro with the new Viper coil on it that Nugget's gonna try out. I got my uh, secret deadly weapon, the Equinox 800. <laughs> we're headed back out to the juke joint where we killed it for 16 silver coins last time, and we're, I'm taking Nugget to another location in that same area, and hopefully we're gonna kill it again today. But we'll see. We'll see. So what do you want to get, Nugget? Another half dollar. You get a half dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, he won't make it out of the field alive. I want to dig a hole and put him in it. It's my turn to get a half dollar, but I'm hoping to get some silver, some barbers, and some old, I want some old, yeah, you know, V-nickels and things like that, too. I haven't got any of that out there, and I don't know if there is anything like that out there. A gold coin, remember? I talked about a gold coin. That's what gold coin. Yeah, I get the gold coin. Okay, as long as I get one after. You just, if you get it, you have to bury it, put it back in, and I'll come and dig it up. So, yeah. anyway, we'll see you guys out in the field. All right, out here on location, Nuggets back there getting suited up, and, uh, come back out here to this one area that we haven't hunted yet and so kind of interested see I found in my last video I found that one silver coin and I tested it a lot of water out here today so hopefully we can find something let me turn you around let me show you what we're looking at all right we've hunted those woods me and nugget and that's where we found all those coins me and my friend Jason hunted all this open area right through here and our what we're me and nugget hunted that backfield down that way and so we're going to go from this tree over to that cedar tree grouping there. We're going to go up to that cedar tree, back over to this tree, and then come back down here. That's the area. There used to be a road that came right through here, right through here. And it went straight out here, and it curved over there, and it stopped. And there's nothing else on the old maps, but there was a barn up here to our, our right, up on the hill. And so, there had to have been something out here a long time ago, but it was pre-1958 because there was nothing there in 1958. So hopefully this is going to pay off. The other sides have, and so there's only one way to find out. That is to get suited up and get to swinging, and as soon as we find something, we'll definitely get the camera on it and we'll show you guys. So let's get at it. Uh, all right, I'm going to be hunting this morning with my Equinox uh, 800. Uh, we're going to leave everything pretty much where it always is um, the only thing I'm going to check here is my except re, uh, recovery speed I'm going to put it down to about four because I want to go a little bit slower and a little bit uh, deeper and uh, other than that we're going to go ahead and noise cancel it and then we'll go ahead and and uh, this ground balance is fine and we're on multiple frequency and on park one. So let's get at it. All right, got my first target here. You can see it's a solid uh, 13 from anywhere from eight to six inches. 13 at six inches. So let's see what this is gonna be. We're gonna live dig it right in the horse poop and mud. It's been raining all night in the morning we had about 10 inches of snow on the ground it's all melted so it's pretty pretty wet so let's see that's a good sign it's still in the hole it's still deep it's right there though I think I got it There it is, right there. What is that gonna be? Can y'all tell? Wow! I don't believe it. I, uh... gold coin? No, it's not a gold coin, but it's a shield nickel. Hold on, I'm coming. Check that out. Look at that. That is a shield nickel. No way. Yeah. I was just talking about that. 
I don't know if I can see the date on it. My hands are all muddy. Yeah, I can even see the date on that. Check that out. Oh, that's beautiful. 1868? 1868. 1868. That's about right, yeah. Gosh, look at that. Oh, man. Look at the stars on I mean, it. Oh, that's an older one. Man, that's nice. Look Sometimes at that. they have like the rays, too. Wow. Yeah, yours don't have the rays, but that is amazing. I've only found like a few of them. They're hard to find. Man, the coins. It's coming out of here in a great condition, too. Let's put that right there. And we were guessing nickel, and I'm like, well, it could well, be. Well, it rings up on the Equinox. Uh, 12, 13 is going to be a nickel for sure. There's a nickel of mine. There's our buddy. He's back. Uh, get on here, dog. All right, let's take some pictures, and let's keep on rolling. Yes, that's promising. That is really nice. What do you think about that nugget? I like it, yeah. Shield nickel first coin of the day? Hey, that's better than a pull tab. Woo! I can't believe my first target is an 1868 shield nickel in great condition out here in this sand. This this sand just must shine them up or something, or it dropped right when it was uh, uh, minted out. But uh, we are hunting nuggets here beside me. We are hunting these old trees right here, and that's where I found it up in this group. And there's a lot of iron uh, all around here, so it could be an old home site right here. So, all right, let's keep on rolling. Well, y'all, I just got the most amazing signal ever. First signal of the day out here is showing up as an 81, and it's pretty shallow, so I think it's going to be a coin. I'm calling, Let's... I'm calling Barber. All right, let me find it again. Right in there. I'm calling Barber. I don't know. It's, it rang up good on the Equinox. Yeah, it's right in that little area there, so we're going to dig around it. How deep was it? It's showing like two inches deep. Two, no. Two or three. That's going to be a... I don't think it's very deep, but I'll dig down about four. Well, we have dug shallow coins out of here, though. Okay. Oh, I see it, dude. Where's it at? Look. Is that silver? Is that it? That's silver, dude. Oh, that is silver. Oh, what is it? It looks big. Oh, it's a mercury it's tower. A <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm on Barbara. Barber. Yeah. <laughs> we got Barber on our minds. Let's see, 1936. Well, uh, that's good. Yeah. Hey, I'll still take it. We'll I mean, take silver. Think about it, though. We've been here like maybe 20 minutes, and it's the first signal I've gotten out here and first hole I've dug. So that doesn't happen very often. No. <laughs> but this place is just really quiet. Like, there's not a lot of trash or really any signals, just a few nails. And I came across this, and voila. Silver. Well, maybe the coins are over on toward this side. Yeah, let's, let's work that way. Let's keep at it. All right, I'll get y'all closer. All right, I got a good tone here. A good solid 20 at four to six inches. All right, about six inches there. Let's uh, get my point again. Where did it? All right, I got my mark. Let's dig that. Let's live dig it here. That's a good tone. It's been a while since we found our last coins. It's been real quiet out here in the field. Yep. Don't hear it now. Let's, uh, maybe it's still a little bit deeper. It sounds like an Indian. 19 to a 20, 21. Not there. My goodness. Where'd that thing go? It's still showing to be down in the hole. But I don't hear it. Okay, maybe I missed it. I didn't, didn't pinpoint it good. Alright, let's see if I got it that time. There it is, right there. It's gonna be a very nice Indian. Check that out. There's the imprint on it. Can y'all read that date? Is that 1904? 1904 Indian. 
tell you what, this old sand, these coins are just coming out. Every coin that we dug out here, it's been toned, but it's uh, definitely in good shape. 1904 Indian. Nuggets calling me over. He's got him an Indian head, he says. So let's go check him out. 576. At first, I thought it was going to be a bullet. And I was digging around at the pinpointer, and you can see right there, man, that looks good. It's definitely a coin. Looks like an Indian How head. How deep? To me. Six inches? Five inches? Yeah, five, six inches. Oh, it's an Indian. 1907. Oh, that's Seven. a beautiful one, man. Oh, it's got good toning on it, too. I know. Oh, it's just getting. 07? So, same year as my half dollar. Yeah. Yeah, 1907. Early 1900s oh, is what really we're yeah. finding. So, well, we know they're out here. I've walked like two miles to get this. <laughs> been swinging for like uh, an we've hour. been swinging a, a lot out here. Uh, besides a few bullets and. Few so we got two Indians, a Merc, and a shield. Wow. So I, I well, congratulations, you got your Indian. Thank you. I'm gonna keep swinging. Nuggets yelling down here. He had an 80 on his AT Pro, and he asked me what I think it was. I told him it was either going to be a, a wheat penny or a thin barber. He digs it up, and it's a barber. So. Sometimes these thin barbers ring up real, ring up differently. But anyway, let's uh, get down here and see what he's got. Wow. I want to switch to my other camera real quick, give you all a close up. Look at that. Oh man, yes. A 1916. But it wasn't even deep, like it was right there, not even an inch deep. That's why I thought it was probably junk, like yeah. a bullet or something. They've been coming out shallow out here. Yeah, and see the, the red or the orange in the hole? Uh -huh. There's rust, a lot of nails and stuff. Yeah, I can see it through here. Yep. So, yeah. 1916 Barber Dime. Well, congratulations, Thank Nugget. You. I appreciate you inviting me out here. 1916, that's really nice. It's a real Worn. Good, real good sight, you just gotta do a lot of walking. Got some good toning on it. All right. All well, right. that gives me hope. Now, I'm, oh, there's got to be coins out here. Let's keep going. More half All right, I was digging a 22. I wasn't going to record this because it was 22. I think it's going to be a weedy. But when I began to look at this, it doesn't look like a weedy. It looks like an Indian. But Indians usually don't ring up at 22. But let me turn you around. Let me show you. Here we go, guys. It's right there. If you can see the edge of it, right there. Indian for sure. Yeah, okay. that's definitely going to be an Indian head penny right there. A nice one too, like yours. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That's crazy, man. Brown and black. Where's the, the Indian head gold coins? That is a 1909. That's the last year. That's a baby one. I know, almost a wheat penny. Almost a weedy. I knew it, it was ringing up like a weedy. All right. Got two Indians and a shield nickel. Nugget's got uh, a Merc and a Barber and a Buffalo. So now we need some uh, big silver. We ain't got big silver yet. All right, 10 to 11. It's kind of deep. Is this going to be another shotgun head stamp? Or is this going to be my V-nickel that I'm in the hunt for? Let's see. Got fooled last time and got fooled again this time because I can see it right there. That's what it is. It'll be like a pull tab. All right, let's keep going. Here's an 1819, about eight inches deep. Right there. Now that sounds like an Indian. The other one didn't sound like an Indian. Let's see what this is going to be. Nope. I'm getting fooled by shotgun stamps, and this I think this is a saddle rivet. All right, let's keep rolling. I don't know if this is going to be anything. It's too shallow. Sounds like it's on top of the ground. I bet it's going to be a piece of trash. No, there it is right there. It's, uh, it's some type of token or it's got some writing on it, but it's 
so badly. I don't know what that is. Trash. All right, let's keep going. I was getting a 28 uh, down about, oh, you can see down there, it's about seven inches. Popped it up here, and it's going to be a little buckle. I don't think it has any writing on it, if I can tell. Well, dropped it in the water. They washed it off for us anyway, didn't it? Yeah, it's got some writing right there. If I can get the focus. No, maybe that's not writing. It may have writing on it. I don't know. It looks like it does, doesn't it? Maybe it's just the, the rust. All right, we'll clean it up later on, see if they had any writing on it. Let's keep on rolling. We moved over to this place where I found my video that's called Barbers and Indians. I found two barbers out here, an Indian head penny and a buffalo nickel. And so we're just kind of over here, kind of hitting this again, see what we come up with. So let's get a 28 signal. Dug up this water bottle. I mean, this bottle still has stuff in it. They don't know what that is. Let me see if I can clean it up here. And uh, came back up in these woods. Abbott something made in USA. I can't get that last last word there. La Abbott. That looks like a L A. L-A-B? Abbott Lab? Made in USA. Huh. Let's open it up together and see what this is. All right, what do y'all think this is going to be? What's your best guess? I have no clue. I think it says Abbott Lab, made in USA on it. And uh, hopefully it's not some poison I'm going to smell. I can... I can twist the lid. I don't know if I can get it off though. Yeah, it's just coming. Ah, it's still. Check that out. Can you see that? I don't know if it's. Uh... There we go. Tear off. It's still sealed. Hmm. I have no clue what this is going to be. I don't think I'm going to open it yet because I can't. I don't wonder if I can tear that off or not. You know what this? You know what I think this is. You can tear that off right there. Let's see if I can get the focus. And it's going to be a, a syringe. It's some type of medicine. Maybe it's for cows. There's horses. I don't know. But yeah, that's the tear that off and the rubber thing I can see is underneath it right there. So I'm going to leave it all intact and keep it as a little souvenir. All right, let's push that back down, and maybe we can research the uh, the labs here or the name on the back and see what this was. I bet it's some type of uh, uh, medicine, a syringe thing you put into it, a vial. All right, let's keep on rolling. I came back in this field, and I'm, I found my shield nickel right on the other side of those trees. So I've just been searching up in these trees and uh, got a a 13 signal about uh, seven inches deep dug it up and it's some type of uh, decorative something it's kind of folded in half but definitely got some fancy on it yeah. don't know what that is I'll clean it up later and see what we come up with well, that's going to do it for us. Nugget, what'd you think? It was tough hunting, but I had a great... We great didn't find a whole lot, but we found some good treasures, but not a whole lot. It's a lot of few and far between. Mm -hmm. And uh, But uh, coins came out looking good and uh, found a couple of little relics. But uh, let me turn you around. Let me show you what we found. All right, there's all of our trash. This is my trash here, some type of big cover. That thing blew my ears off. And that was real loud, too. Shotgun stamps, bullets. Nugget got him a... 
some type of chain, a bar bridle bit or chain. I don't know what that went off of. Probably horse attack. Looks right. like an old buckle there and shotgun stamps. Old silver plated spoon. And uh, and here are the finds. Not a whole lot. Uh, these are my finds. I got a, an old buckle in that uh, vial that's still sealed up. Whatever that medicine is, it's still the original medicine. I'm going to have Nugget drink it here in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Some I don't make it home. Yeah, yeah. Some type of decorative little piece of jewelry. I don't know what that came off of. An overall button. I only found two Indian heads um, today. A 1904 and a 1909. And my best find of the day was that 1868 shield nickel, which was an excellent condition. All the coins came out today. Oh, Very yeah. nice. And Nugget got him a nice Indian head penny. He got him a buffalo nickel. And these these are the best finds of the day here. I think as far as silver, it's the 1916 and 1936 Mercury, 1916 Barber. But the oldest coin is the 1868. So there's all the treasures. Not a whole lot this time, but that's the way it is. And there's all the trash. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can find at a ghost town out here and put on the back of your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we uh, meet again, I just want to wish you happy hunting. God bless.